At a much anticipated city council meeting tonight, the group talked about Red River Waste Solutions' rough work picking up Fort Wayne's trash over the last six months. News Channel 15's Tony Sandlaben joins us live now in the newsroom with takeaways from that discussion. Tony. Well, Tara, the talk on trash lasted a little more than an hour. Red River representatives gave reasons for the more than 2,000 service calls the city has received because of the lack of trash pickup. But to a number of city council members, those reasons sounded more like excuses. So I'm disappointed that they have uh, decided not to purchase Goodwill with, the, with our uh, with our ratepayers and have decided to stay the villains and simply ask us to, be, to uh, continue to accept the status quo, which is not acceptable. Excuses, not solutions. That's how most of the city council described Red River Waste Solutions presentation Tuesday night. Red River Vice President of Business Development and Government Relations, Steve Smith, says complaint calls are trending down. So we, we actually track calls per day. And so when, the, when they go up, and calls per day are going down. While that may be, the city's 311 calls are up this month. In fact, June is on pace to have the most 311 calls since January. Councilman John Crawford wants Red River to set benchmarks for themselves to measure progress in trash collecting. However, well, they didn't lay out any benchmarks. They came in with another set of uh, sob stories, uh, acting like they didn't know that Memorial Day uh, was, was going to, they didn't know that Memorial Day was going to happen. Despite the disappointment from Tuesday night's meeting, there was some optimism in what to expect in the near future. I would expect to see results in the next 30 days from what we heard from Red River here tonight at the table. Breach of contract options were discussed tonight as well, but that does not seem like a likely move from the City Council because they say it would require a court ruling to determine whether or not Red River has actually breached their contract. Now, Councilman Yale says he wants the funds that are going to come from the recent fines that Red River has been levied to go towards possibly funding a second bidder or even giving a possible rebate to people in Fort Wayne whose trash has not been adequately collected. Live in the newsroom, Tony Sandlaben, News Channel 15.